Welcome to the Johns Hopkins Hospital Blood Bank. We are one of the largest and most comprehensive transfusion services in the United States. In the year 2020 alone, we process 87,956 type and screen samples, and we've transfused 72,918 blood products, which include red blood cells, platelets, plasma, and cryoprecipitate. We provide transfusion support to a wide variety of patients, from unborn babies requiring intrauterine transfusions, to neonates, children, adult and pediatric cancer patients, sickle cell patients, trauma patients, and those requiring surgery and or organ transplantation. In addition, we also store bone and tissue products used for transplantation and grafting. The Johns Hopkins Blood Bank is divided into two main areas. There's testing and non-testing. So come on, let's show you around. This is the sample sort and accessioning station. This is perhaps the most vital part of the testing process in the blood bank. The technologist assigned to the station is responsible for assessing sample acceptability and suitability. For a sample to be accepted, the label must have the patient's name, medical record number, and date of birth written legibly. Our blood bank samples are collected under strict positive patient identification practice, incorporating hospital, hospital information system verification. Wrong blood in two remains one of the leading causes of ABO mismatched transfusions in the United States. If a sample fails to meet criteria, it must be rejected. Once samples are received and have been deemed acceptable, they are taken over to our automated testing station. We have two high volume instruments that perform type and screens and RBC unit ABO confirmations. A type and screen consists of two tests, the ABRH type and the antibody screen. The ABORH group in determines your blood group expressed on your red cells, O, A, B, or AB, and if you're positive or negative for the RH factor. The antibody screen detects antibodies in your plasma directed against foreign red cell antigens that may cause a compatibility problem. Our first line of testing is performed using solid phase red cell adherence for antibody detection and identification and microtiter plates for ABORH determination. The majority of our samples are processed using the automated instrument, but any unexpected reactions that require further investigations, like a positive antibody screen or discrepant ABRH typing, are reflected to the manual testing bench. The manual testing bench is where testing is done by tube and gel methods. It is at this station where samples are confirmed to be abnormal and are sent over to reference. Our reference testing area performs the advanced serology necessary for the resolution of complex antibody problems and ABORH discrepancies. Advanced serology includes, but is not limited to, antibody elution, adsorptions, plasma and RBC treatments, antibody titration, as well as special testing such as the Donath Landsider test, drug studies, and others. We can also perform molecular RBC genotyping that aid in the resolution of antibody problems. Our automated instrument is for titrations, antibody identification, and cross-matching utilizes gel technology. The molecular laboratory performs human erythrocyte antigen genotyping on patients who meet criteria. Obtaining a genotype can be useful in the resolution of complex antibody problems, such as individuals with warm autoantibodies, multiple antibodies, and antibodies against high incidence antigens, and also in resolving discrepant serologic typings. In addition, all of our sickle cell patients, whether they have formed a clinically significant antibody or not, will have a genotype 1 file as a precautionary measure. This is a component prep station. The technologist at this station is responsible for packing fluids requested by anesthesia for surgery and thawing plasma products such as cryoprecipitate, octoplas, cryoporoplasma, and fresh frozen plasma. The ComPrep technologist is also responsible for packing coolers when the massive transfusion protocol is activated. The massive transfusion protocol is initiated over 300 times a year, which makes this station vital for our day-to-day -day transfusion service activities. In addition, the technologist performs product manipulations such as aliphatic products for neonates, routine red blood cell washing, reconstitution of whole blood, and deglissing rare frozen RBC units. 
We store close to 100 platelet components at any given time here in the blood bank. We support a large patient population that includes those with cancer, neonatal patients, as well as very active surgical suites that perform platelet transfusions around the clock. At this station, we perform platelet manipulations such as aliquoting, washing, and concentrate volume reduction. Once platelets are received from the supplier, they are tested again for bacterial contamination. The final check occurs before any blood product leaves the blood bank. The technologist at this station receives a request for a blood product and performs a final clinical check with another technologist. The patient's name, medical record number, date of birth, ABRH blood type, compatibility status, and special needs are checked. Discrepancies found must be resolved before any blood product is dispensed. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed the virtual tour. Our work here in the blood bank depends heavily on the generosity of our blood donors. Without them, our shelves will be devoid of life-saving blood products. We are committed to providing the safest and most effective products to our patients here at the Johns Hopkins Hospital.